Sirach 10 and 7. Pride is hateful before the Most High and man, and by both do of one commit iniquity. All praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Okay, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And the double shalom to all you Akim and you Akwa, those of the hopeful elect seeking for salvation. Okay, now the title of this lesson is called The Promotion of Pride Shall Be Cast Down. Okay, and we all know what pride is. People who are arrogant, you know, have egos, think they're better than, than, than anyone. Okay, not humble. Okay, and that's what America, which is AKA Babylon the Great, promotes this month they deem as in their in their law as the month of pride in which all that goes back to sodomy promoting sodomy and we're going to read how the lord feels about sodomy all this the bible condemns the lord hates man you know pride he hates sodomy all those things and we're going to bring out what's going to happen as a result okay sirach 10 and 7 pride is hateful before yahweh by shim yahweh shai the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son hates pride, okay? And man, a righteous man hates pride as well, okay? And this place promotes it. It, 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 it does not promote humility at all. People are fooling themselves. Scripture say in the last days there should be love, men that are lovers of themselves. Matter of fact, let me, let me bring that, okay? Because it, it shows you how these people are waxing worse, man, you know? Let me bring that out right quick. Let me, let me, um, to lock it. I gotta get that scripture. Yeah, bear with me. Because it, it all goes back to pride. You know, when you talk about social media, you know, um, people just taking selfies every, every 10 minutes, posting it, you know, just full of pride, man. You know, wanting to be seen, and, and not just women, but men too. All right, uh, let's see, Second Timothy 3 and 1, it says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. All right, perilous goes back to dangerous. So, yeah, I mean, things are getting worse. You know, um, violence is at an all-time high. You know, uh, people are, are um, you know, afraid of their lives, man, from day to day. Especially, imagine living in a hood, you know, where there's always strife but not just in the hood you know you got these nice neighborhoods you know things are starting to happen where you know you have these mass shootings and all that stuff going on because when we live in the last days okay but reading on verse 2 it says for men shall be lovers of their own selves men, men are lovers of them full of themselves man you know full of pride you know taking a selfie trying to get the right angles to post you know uh, looking for oh, so lucky looking for uh you know uh, um attention from others seeing how many likes you can get you know not just men women you know fool themselves man no humility is promoted here at all okay it says covetous you know wanting wanting things that other people have it says boasters always bragging about what they got you know look at me i got a new tesla you know i was just watching elder manata zap uh, video he was going live talking about kodak black bragging about his um new tesla he bought you know in in um dedication to kobe bryant okay but that just goes back to how you know people uh, brag about what they got okay full of pride it says proud which that word proud goes back to pride it says uh, blasphemers okay disobedient to parents unthankful all right these people are not thankful man you know when you when you become prideful or you're proud you don't you don't appreciate, you know, what the Lord has given you, all right? And mainly speaking to our people, because we know that the man that's ruling, the Edomites, so-called white people, we know that they're not uh, thankful because they're full of pride. But our people have been seduced by their ways. It says um, unthankful, unholy, okay? And that's, that's the main point, okay? That these people are proud, they're full of themselves, they're lovers of their own selves, okay? And that's what America promotes, man. Okay, but then skips to say Sirach 10 and 7, pride is hateful before the most high, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and man, and by both do of one commit iniquity. Alright, sin upon sin. When you continue to involve yourself, you know, or have the mindset uh, and be proud and boasting and full of yourselves, 
then you then you, you become more separated from the maker you know you don't you don't submit yourself to the Lord because in order for you to submit yourself you have to be humble and I, it's going to tell you that in the scriptures we're going to keep reading verse 13 uh, for pride is be, is the beginning of sin and he that hath it shall pour out abomination Okay, and we know abomination is a wicked, filthy act which the Lord hates. So when you become prideful, you know you 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 believe that you know um, you know being a sodomite is is okay. You don't have a problem with it, right? Or when you become proud, you feel like oh, I can start smoking weed. It comes from the earth, you know, or th things of that nature. Start having that mindset where you know you can do certain things because you can't be told nothing. That's why the Lord wants us to be humble, so we can we can be corrected through the through the scriptures man okay but you can't be corrected if you are fully yourself man you can't be told anything all right it says sirach 10 and 13 for pride is the beginning of sin okay and sin is transgressing the laws which is given to the nation of israel so we are held the so-called negroes latinos native americans are held to a standard you know which we have to live by which is keeping the law to the best of our ability but when you're prideful you transgress you break the laws okay you don't want to be told anything, so you start worshiping idols, you know, you start celebrating heathen customs, you know, you start doing things that the Lord is not pleased in, okay? And it says, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. And that's why you see a lot of our people involved in, in sodomy, because of pride. And they come out in, in, in front street, and like, like Brother Hawa was going into a camp yesterday, it used to be a thing called in the closet. Shit, ain't no closet now. You know, excuse my French. I mean, these people are out wearing a rainbow flag, which we know what the rainbow symbol is used for. We're going to prove that. But there's there's no more hiding it. So they're pouring out abominations, wicked, filthy act, and they're boasting about, about it. Okay? They're bragging about it. You know, letting the world know. It says, and therefore the Lord brought, see, this is the point, and therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. And that's what's going to happen. That's why the title says the promotion of pride shall be cast down. Because eventually it's going to be overthrown utterly. You know, utterly means when you completely destroy something, man. You know, there's no uh, re there's no returning from that destruction. You know, and the Lord, is, that's what the Lord is brewing all these things up. You know, allowing these people to get at the climax of their pride, so He can destroy them. You know, uh, with a with a major destruction, so it can be example. You know, across the earth, man. The Lord is getting ready to make Babylon. The great, which is America, a great example, man. You know, an everlasting example. But uh, nevertheless, verse 14, the Lord has have cast down the thrones of proud princes. Okay, what is America full of proud leaders? You know, proud uh, uh, people that follow suit, you know, who are followers of, of this world. Okay, but the Lord has cast down these proud princes. Many examples, man. Okay, it says, and set up the meek in their stead and that's what the Lord is doing he's getting ready to you know establish a humble righteous kingdom which is going to rule forever it's going to start with Lord Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus okay and it's going to trickle down from through the order you know King David the house of David on down okay that's what the Lord is that he's that's why you see all these things happening it's a dramatic movie getting ready to you know um you know in in uh 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 in a, in a great fashion man okay it says um and set up the meek in their stead verse 15 the lord have plucked up the roots of the proud nations and planted the lowly in their place and that's what you see happening now okay now our people those who are uh, follow the ways of the of america you know or the edomites they're gonna follow suit they're gonna hey how you doing they're gonna get themselves involved in you know the the, the judgment the lord is gonna bring on these heathen nations okay mainly Esau Edom the so-called white man okay because they don't want to be humble they can't be told anything uh, Proverbs 12 and 26 it says the righteous is more excellent than than his neighbor now who's the righteous the, the nation of Israel all right but now you, you know you can only liken that to the hopeful leg because majority of our people they're not considered righteous you know when you are proud and you are in the ways of the world the scriptures say uh you know it, it, matter of fact let me get it because if you love this world you you, get, you definitely don't love the heavenly father the heavenly father doesn't abide in you 
all right? And that's the majority of our people, okay? But I'm gonna jump back, Let's see, first, first John 2 and 15, it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. What does the world promote? Pride, all right? Um, ego, arrogant, you know? This, this, this world is full of, look what I got, look what I'm doing. I did this. No one is ever saying, you know, I thank the Lord first and foremost. Thank you. How about you? I was shy, you know, for giving me the strength to be able to, you know, accomplish this. I wouldn't have been able to done it without the Lord. You don't hear that, you know. All these, these, these celebrities, these people look up to and idolize, they're full of themselves, man. Okay, because what? They love the world. It says, 1 John 2 and 15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So when you talk about the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, the nation of Israel was created to be a righteous nation. Okay, but but majority of our people, they don't have that mindset because they're of the world. So the Father doesn't abide in them. So, you know, but we were created to be more excellent than our neighbor. All right, these heathen nations. Okay, it says, but the way of the wicked seduces them. Now, who is the wicked? The Edomites, Malachi 1 and 4. So they they seduced our people into thinking that being prideful is 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 a good thing being a sodomite is a good thing when it's a bad thing the scriptures tell you that you know we just read that the um the said pride is hateful before the most high and man now what does the lord say about sodomy see all this is in the scripture the scripture say everything written for time was written for our learning leviticus 20 and 13 if a man also lie with mankind as he lied with a woman both of them have committed an abomination abomination is a wicked filthy act that's why the Lord is going to overthrow these proud princes, man, and those who follow suit. Okay, because Lord, it's not natural for a man to lie with another man. It's unseemly. All right. It says both of them have com committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So that's what the Lord is going to eventually do. He's going to destroy those who, who are sodomites, man. If you don't, at least you repent if you're an Israelite. Because anything can be for, forgiven through repentance except for blaspheme in the Holy Spirit, you know, so but you know, you don't you, you can't you can't imagine through the spirit, a spiritual man judge of all things. You can't imagine our people repenting from that. A lot of them are lost in the sauce now. Uh, have there been miracles of people repenting from being sodomites? Um, yes, there are examples of that, you know, but in these times you can tell a lot of these jakes and they're not going to repent. So the Lord's gonna, you know, overthrow them along with their, their, the, the people they idolize, man, which is this devil and his kingdom. Okay, I got some more scriptures I'm gonna bring out through the Spirit. When you read Genesis, I'll tell you what the rainbow is for. All right, the rainbow symbol is not for. See, it tells you, man, this devil, he turned everything upside down, man. When you read um, Genesis nine, and that's why the scriptures say. Who, who turned the truth into a lie? Who told you that the rainbow symbol was, you know, uh, uh, for that wicked BS that you out here promoting? Who told you, you know, uh, um, the rainbow was a symbol for sodomy and pride? Who told you that? You know, who turned the truth into a lie? But the wicked is ruling. The scriptures say the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. Okay, Genesis 9 and uh, 13. It says, I do set my bow in the cloud and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. So the Lord made agreement, all right, between him and the earth using that bow, rainbow as a symbol, okay? You know, an agreement, okay? All right, it says, verse 14, and it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. That's why you see the rainbow in the cloud, different colors, okay? It says, Verse 15, and I will, will remember my covenant, my agreement, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the water shall be no more because become a flood to destroy all flesh. So the Lord made an agreement, and he shows that symbol as an agreement that he's not going to flood the earth anymore. But what did Esau do? He took it, he put it as a flag, as a symbol of sodomy and pride. And the Lord, that's why the Lord is going to destroy this devil, man, because what he did amongst many other things, I mean, we will be here for days naming all the things that Esau did. He's got to pay for it. The Lord's going to destroy his ass, man, you know, and then the people, our people that follow suit. Okay. Matter of fact, let me get this. 
All right, let me get this scripture here and I'm gonna go back. This dude, it's beautiful doing a video with the elements, man. You got little bees coming out, ants, big ass ants coming out. Lord willing, I don't get stung or any of that, you know. But um, it's beautiful coming out here though. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, let's see, Isaiah 31 and one. I'm, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read down and hit the point. All right, because the Lord is going to overthrow these proud princes, okay, these leaders, and he's going to overthrow the majority of our people who follow suit. Okay, Isaiah 31 and woe, 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Okay, Egypt represents, um, you know, um, America, okay? Our people going down to Egypt for help, you know, trusting in the government, the leadership, okay? And with that, they, they um, uphold. You know the philosophies and doctrines okay it says to stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many okay they trust in you know america because of the the military might and the power structure that this man has okay it looks to be from a from the carnal eyes it looks to be this man is very powerful in which he is okay but that's the lord setting them up the lord is we can't even compare and measure the power that supersedes this devil right but you got a lot of our people who trust in this this man's you know power structure and trust in him uh, it says uh because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong but they look not unto the holy one of israel which is yahweh by shimmy i was right they don't look to the heavenly father his only begotten son it says uh neither seek the lord so they not they don't seek the lord because they don't trust in him they don't have faith okay verse two yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words you know, um, Isaiah 55 and 11, so shall my words be that go forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, meaning empty. And what is um, part of the words, you know, a prophecy that you think of is the destruction of Babylon the Great, which is AKA America, Revelation 18 chapter. The Lord is gonna flatline this place through the thermonuclear destruction and it's only gonna take one hour, all right? But um, they don't seek the Lord, okay? So it says verse two, Yet he also is wise and will bring bring evil and not call back his words, which you see evil happening now, bad times. You know, I always mention inflation. Inflation is going to turn into hyperinflation. You know, um, a mild famine is going to turn into an extreme famine. You know, uh, violence is going to increase even more. All right. Because what? The Lord is not calling back his words. His, and the evil is a part of, you know, prophecies that uh, is gonna happen before the utter, utter destruction of America. Verse, uh, read it on, verse two. What will, will arise against the house of evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. Okay, so the Lord is gonna come up against all his enemies, the evildoers, okay? And it says against the help of them that work iniquity means sin upon sin, okay? Verse three. Now the Egyptians are men and not Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? They're just men. It says, and their horse is flesh and not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down, and they all shall fail together. So if you're siding with this devil and you trust in him, you're going to fall with him. And you're going to realize that he was a man and you should have been seeking the Lord the whole time. You know? So the future prophecy says this. Let's bring it out. Okay. Let me see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Second Ezra. All right, we're going to wrap this one up. But um, hitting the point, there's two points I want to hit. It says, um, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, here we go. Second Ezra 15 and 5. Let's give say, rather, you prophesy. It's starting to get live out here, this part. So I'm going to move to another location. Of course, right? Starting to get live, you know. Satan getting busy. You got people stomping shoes and everything, making loud sounds out of all places. They're going to come next to me, but <laughs> it is what it is. Second Ezra 15 and um, 7. No, I'm starting at 5. It says, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the whole earth. Okay. It says, The sword, which represents any killing instrument. And then also, too, uh, the Edomites, when you read. Uh, Psalm 17 and 13, they're going to be used, the, the Lord is going to use, you know, Esau as a sword against his people, man. Martial law, okay, uh, you're going to have civil unrest and all those things, man. It's going to get crazy soon. Famine, 
All right, lack of food, shortage of food and water, death and destruction. Verse 6, here's the point. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So what's part of the wickedness? Promoting pride and sodomy. You know, promoting um, to be uh, boasters, proud, lover of your own selves, okay? Promotion of um, wanting attention, wanting to be worshipped and idolized, okay? It says, um, and amongst many other things, you know, a promotion of women over the man, you know, um, promotion of confusion, you know, uh, promotion of uh, idol worshipping, you know, heathen customs, celebrating, you know, you know, Easter and Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, Christmas, all these things, man. It has, it has, it has ran its course. You know, it says, um, verse six: For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay, verse seven. Therefore, said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, such which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in the in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. That's what's going on. You know, the souls of the just complaining continually. You know, as scripture says, set a mark upon those of the men that sigh and cry. That mark is a thawab, meaning a mark of exemption. You know, the, the, the righteous are constantly complaining. You know, those who, who, who are martyrs for the truth, those who will die within the truth, you know, is, is uh, complaining and crying to you, how about Shemiah was shy to bring forth destruction to this place, man. And the Lord is hearing the cries of the righteous. All right, now I'm, I'm gonna jump down to the point. Verse 18, it says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. The promotion of pride shall be cast down. The Lord is getting ready to humble a lot of these people. All right before he destroys them okay and it's going to say um for our people majority of our people before they found no place of repentance you know a lot of our people is not going to have any time to repent because they didn't use the grace period to their advantage of getting right but that pride man that pride uh, um that pride uh, will mess you up bad the lord will have it to where you know he destroys you completely all right um it says uh Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So the Lord is getting ready to humble a lot of people and bring forth these plagues, man. Death, destruction. They dropped the key? Oh, wow. Uh, no, nah, I wasn't over. Well, I walked by. I didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, no problem. It says, um, let's see. Uh, it says, uh, the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. So it's going to be a lot of, um, you know, uh, it's, it's going to be a civil unrest. It's going to be men invading, um, you know, others, uh, spaces, you know, running up in people's cribs, taking goods, you know, for survival mode. People are going to be, it's going to be a lawless society, man. And plus, you're going to have martial law happening. You're going to have, um, you know, people hunting other people, gang wars, civil unrest, you know, class wars. All that's going to be happening, man. Okay, and people are going to be afraid, man. You just said the men's going to be afraid. So you know everybody else is going to be afraid too. Afraid too. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, all right, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Now, I want to see you taking selfies in that day. I want to see I want to see you being boasters and lovers of your own self in that day. All right? Cuz it's going to get real out here, man. Okay? The promotion of pride shall be cast down, you know? Now, um I'm end off on this. Proverbs 16 and 18 it says pride goes before destruction and then haughty spirit before a fall. So right before, you know, this kingdom is going to be destroyed, you're going to see it like this promotion of pride at an all-time high okay and um you know boasters and full of yourselves man you're gonna see we're, we're at a perfect um fulfillment of the lord humbling this place man soon because you know wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and the hurt for worse have been fulfilled i mean you i don't know you can't get no worse than this man you know this is the worst ever on the face of the earth all right it reads on um 
Verse 19, better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Okay? And that's why the Lord said, receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. You no, know, the only way you're gonna draw nigh to the Lord and the Lord draw nigh to you is through a meek and humble spirit. You know? And so America is is everything America does, you do the opposite, man. You know? America promotes pride, you be humble. Okay? America promotes sodomy. You you know, you already know what time it is, man. We we know what we're supposed to be and what we're not supposed to do. Jake know what's up, man. Okay, this lesson is mainly for the hopeful elect, you know, and, and words of encouragement and just showing that just continue to remain humble, you know, and, uh, you know, move in the spirit because the Lord is getting ready to cast down this wicked, sinful kingdom in which we constantly cry for the Lord to bring forth speedy riddance, man, in which this place deserves, man. All right. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom.